What's going on guys, Mickle here, and in this video we are covering the most recent ruling on DPP in the Ripple SEC case. Guys, I've had some time to go back through Twitter and read up on people's different opinions, see how people felt about this most recent ruling, and really develop my own thoughts. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, this most recent ruling is going to be absolutely massive for this case going forward, and I believe it will be largely bullish for Ripple in forcing the SEC to come to the table and settle this case. I found some very unique and interesting perspectives that you guys are definitely going to want to see and they're really going to describe how this case has changed and how it's going to move forward and what are the main things we need to be looking for in the future and how this case is going to ultimately shake out. Guys, we are so close to 15k subs on this channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider it. It helps me out so much and is going to help more people like you see this video. Anyway, guys, with that said, let's jump right into it and I hope you enjoy the content. you're definitely going to want to stick around for this whole thing because when we have massive rulings in a court case like we just did we need to make sure we understand what the new direction is and how these changes are going to affect each party going forward so i want to start off by really addressing the fact i saw a lot of people on twitter complaining that ripple didn't get every document and i just really want to address this with a very simple tweet by minus wells i really like this and minus wells tweeted out the documents that the sec didn't want ripple to see are now able to be seen by ripple this obviously helps ripple and may lead to a settlement and a victory we have all been expecting be excited we will win xrp moons i really agree with this sentiment despite the fact that ripple didn't get every single document they asked for i think a lot of us didn't expect for them to win every single document either way ripple got some highly influential documents that are going to help them prove that the sec had no idea what they were doing when regulating the cryptocurrency industry in the early days. This is going to go a long way in proving incompetence to the judge and I believe is a massive step forward in forcing the SEC to come to the table and settle this case. If we keep moving, and I just tweeted out this, I said, we all hate the SEC, but did anyone really expect Ripple to get every single doc they asked for? I doubt Judge Netburn wants Ripple to win nearly like we do. She likely did not want to demolish the SEC in the largest crypto case ever. Ripple still wins. Hashtag XRP. The only thing I'm trying to say here is... Ripple still got a lot of great documents from this recent ruling. No, they did not get every single one, but we need to understand, a lot of people like me and you are much more uh, XRP fanatics than someone like Judge Netburn. Judge Netburn likely does not want to go out of her way and absolutely demolish the SEC in one of the biggest crypto cases ever. We need to realize that Judge Netburn still ru ruled very fairly on this event, and it's likely important for her not to completely go against the SEC on every single file. She likely wants to maintain a decent standing with the agency, considering they're a pretty massive agency in the U.S. regulatory body. Let's keep moving, though, and I'm sure you guys can understand that point. Next, I want to go over to uh, Ripple Eye. He actually responded to me, and he said, Exactly. If you've ever been to court litigation, you never get everything. Ripple still has expert witnesses with tech background and other hidden gems. There is no way SEC.gov goes to court here. In my opinion, this is a way to scrub Ripple clean so it can have integrity on the world stage. I could not agree more. Ripple got some critical documents from the SEC that the SEC did not want them to have. I think these are going to go a long way in forcing the SEC to come to the table. And the fact of the matter is, if we take a look at what the documents Ripple got, we can see that they actually got a large degree of them, and we don't know specifically what's in these documents. The only people that know are the SEC and Judge Netburn, and soon to be Ripple. It's very likely that a lot of these documents have enough to prove Ripple's innocence, and it could be very likely, since Judge Netburn has already read through all these documents, that she didn't even need to give Ripple all the documents. She could have seen all the documents, realized which ones 
evidence she had to give Ripple for Ripple to make its case to the court and then say, you know what, you have enough with these to go to the SEC and say you are not treating us fairly compared to other cryptocurrencies. You don't need every single document at the SEC because that could make it look like an imbalance in my own ruling. What's also very important to understand here is Judge Nepburn has seen every single one of these documents. So are, if there any, is any gross acts of uh, corruption, Judge Nepburn has seen them and that will go a long way in her making her ultimate decision. The documents handed over in this ruling were only documents Ripple would get to see, but Judge Nepburn already got them. So it is very likely that these documents will go a long way in bringing Ripple to the table. And also very likely, even the documents that Ripple didn't get, Judge Nepburn has already seen, so if there really is anything crazy, embarrassing, corrupt going on in any of these documents, they have already been exposed to the court and will likely go a long way in proving to the court the SEC's incompetence in regulating the cryptocurrency industry. Let's keep moving. The next thing I want to point out, and is the other massive takeaway we have to take from this recent DPP ruling, and it has to do with William Hinman's personal opinion. I want to read this tweet, and this guy's actually a litigation lawyer, so we know we can take what he says um, pretty seriously. He says, we know that the reality is that you should be glad that the judge ruled this way. If she felt Hinman was representing SEC, everything related to the speech would have been privileged. Major strategic error on the SEC's part. I completely agree with this. I saw a lot of people kind of getting upset on Twitter that the judge ruled that Hinman's speech was just his personal opinion. I think the main reason people were getting upset was just because of how absurd it is. We know it wasn't his personal opinion. We know it was SEC guided, but Hinman and the SEC maintained a firm stance that it was just their personal opinion. What Fred is pointing out in this tweet is it doesn't matter. The SEC messed up by saying this in the first place because it allowed Ripple to get way more documents than they would have gotten otherwise. And these documents are going to go a long way in proving the incompetence of the SEC. This is super important and Stephen Hubert really agrees with me. He says Hinman did not say his, in his speech that XRP is not a security, so it does not matter for XRP security status if his speech was a personal opinion. For Ethereum, on the other hand, it holds a lot. And I think that is one of the most important parts of all of this. Whether or not that speech was his personal opinion, people thought it wasn't his personal opinion. People thought it was SEC guided. So people thought the SEC had given clarity to Ethereum. What we found out from this speech is that never happened. And now we know that this speech given by William Hinman, which is him going up there and spewing his own personal thoughts about cryptocurrencies. And that is probably the most confusing thing of all time for the market. So you can very, very quickly develop an idea of well, what the judge is probably thinking. She sees all these different lawyers, all these different mar par market participants coming to her, or not coming to her, but coming to the industry and saying the SEC gave clarity here, and then the SEC coming back and saying, oh, by the way, we're not considering that clarity. You know what that goes for a long way in proving? Ripple's fair notice. Listen to this. Stephanie Hubert tweets out, that Hinman speech is considered only his personal opinion is a huge win for Ripple. Ripple couldn't have had fair notice because this speech still belongs to the SEC external behavior, which every reasonable person interpreted as their official position. This helps arguing lack of fair notice. And what Stephen Hubert is saying is the fact that everyone thought that this speech by William Hinman was the SEC guided shows how confusing the SEC has been this entire time with their regulation. Everyone thought and likely is the case that it actually was SEC guided. So everyone thought and interpreted this speech as SEC guided. Now the SEC is pulling that back. How did they provide any guidance to the market to let cryptocurrency companies know whether their currency was a security or not if the only guidance they ever gave turns out to be a personal opinion and they never told anyone that. This is goes such a long way for Ripple's fair notice and proves that there is no clarity in the market. No one knows what's going on and it's because the SEC is confusing everyone. This is going to go 
such a long way in showing the judge that the SEC has no idea what's going on right now. And if we take a look at uh, this uh, document by the judge, she says defendants have, are an objective test on how a reasonable person would have interpreted the agency's conduct. This agency's, that is the agency's external behavior. So what she is saying is what is what is important in this case in terms of fair notice is how the agency communicated, the agency being the SEC, communicated to the market what was a security, what is not. What we can tell by the evidence presented in this case is there was absolutely zero clarity from the agency on what was a security and what was not. The only clarity that could have possibly been given was this Ethereum free pass speech and the SEC just sunk their own boat by saying actually even though that's the only thing we've ever said about any digital assets we're now saying we didn't even say that. This is a joke and the and the judge in this case is going to see right through it. Trust me. I tweeted out the SEC just tossed out their last chance of having any credibility. What was it? If they wanted to have credibility, they would have deemed the ETH free pass speech as SEC guided, which I say it was, they claim it wasn't, who knows. To prove an inherent difference between ETH and XRP, they didn't do this because they know if ETH is not a security, XRP is not a security. What I'm saying is the only way the SEC leaves this, could have left this with any credibility, credibility is if they actually had a reason why Ethereum is not a security and XRP is. They didn't, and that's why they've been lying this entire case. They are trying to separate themselves from all their past actions pretended like they didn't happen and just try to lie at every single step to try to make it so they seem like they know what they're talking about but the fact of the matter it is that we have been digging up all their graves and this is one i could not believe and actually a document ripple just got access to in this most recent ruling in this clip and i'm not going to play it because this video is already pretty long one of the guys an early Ethereum founder said back in 2014, one thing that the SEC told him is that his token was likely not a security because it was would be considered a utility token. Well, I tweeted out, wow, starting to make sense why the SEC said XRP lacks utility. Unfortunately for the SEC, this statement couldn't be further from the truth. SEC strategy, lie, 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 hope no one realizes. The SEC earlier in this Ripple SEC case tried to say XRP he had no utility and now we see why they said that they told ethereum they were all good as long as your token had any amount of utility and now ripple is going to gain access to the speech it is such a joke that the sec thinks they can just lie at every single step and no one's gonna fact check the thing they said well i think it's all caving in on them right now in this case and i think the sec when they are forced to hand over these documents to ripple is going to is going to see how absurd some of the things they're saying and they are likely not going to want any of this to get out to the public because it really just shows the incompetence of the agency at large guys thank you so much for coming i really hope you enjoyed this video if you're still watching right now make sure you like and subscribe it really helps me out so much in the algorithm thanks for coming for now mickle out